Welcome or welcome back to Living in the Pacific Northwest with Hal Bird. I'm Hal Bird. And I'm JB. And on today's video, we are going to share with you a little trip that we took recently, a little regional weekend trip, perfect getaway. We actually went for a Memorial Day weekend. And um, part of the Northwest living here, um, and really it's kind of a theme for this trip is discovery. And for us, even five years into living here, we've like literally just scratched the surface of all the things to enjoy and take in. And uh, we had never been to Long Beach, Washington, the Long Beach Peninsula. And uh, thanks to some really good friends of ours, uh, we got the invitation to come up and, and check it out for the first time. And speaking for myself, my mind was absolutely blown. So if that's something you're interested in checking out, make sure you stay tuned. So for those of you don't, who don't know me, my name is Hal Bird. I am a licensed realtor and certified relocation specialist in the Northwest. I'm licensed in both Oregon and Washington and can help you whether you're looking to move to or move within the entire Portland metro area. And we started this channel primarily to uh, kind of answer uh, needs that we had when we moved here five years ago. And at the time we didn't have any friends, mm -hmm. no family, and uh, we were kind of dependent on internet and YouTube to uh, give us enough information to make an educated decision. And at the time things were rough on YouTube. Yeah, there was not that much uh, great quality information. Today there's tons. And so we appreciate you being here watching our video. If you get anything out of this video, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, and be sure to follow me on TikTok, Instagram, or or even Facebook stories, whatever your preferred platforms are. I love connecting with you all outside of YouTube. So if you are considering a move and you want to discuss it with me, my Zoom link is in the description below. And you can also text me right here at 360-818-4438. Um, I'd be happy to answer any of your questions about relocating to the Northwest. So without further ado, let's jump into today's topic. All right. So as Jared mentioned, we were invited by one of our friends, one of my preferred lenders, Hans Bruner, out to his beach house in Long Beach. So he also relocated to the Pacific Northwest. He relocated to Vancouver, that's where we met, and ended up buying a beach house and has been inviting us out for two years. <laughs> and we just... Um, and I've never been more disappointed in you than the fact that it's taken, taken us two years to experience that. <laughs> I was gonna say never, you've never been more disappointed, but I, be I believe you actually. Never. Um, and he's saying that because we just had such a great time. Like it was one of those things that we just kind of put on like, we'll get out there eventually, like we'll do it at some point. And we finally decided to commit. So if you notice, um, if you follow me on Instagram, most of our travels are either to see family that's out of state or for business. Um, we don't really take many uh, personal trips and so take like carving the time away from helping all of you relocate and show you houses and helping you close and find your dream homes in the Pacific Northwest um, we're very committed to that in our business and so getting away can be a challenge that and we love it here like I make no bones about it like I don't necessarily want to travel anywhere uh, outside the area so it's, it's funny because we were at talking recently like do you consider that a trip Mm -hmm. even though it's within two hours from where we're sitting right now. Mm -hmm. So some ways yes, in some ways no, mm -hmm. right? It's just like a little like regional weekend getaway. Yeah, and this was just a quick, uh, it's supposed to be a one like overnight trip. We ended up stretching it because uh, we had so much fun. It was a Memorial Day weekend. And um, again, just even in that, not even 48 hours, just had for me uh, an absolute the eye-opening experience in Long Beach, Washington. Yeah, so we arrived on Saturday. Um, what time did we leave here? Like we left 10? late, like 10, close to 11 o'clock. So we probably got there right around lunchtime, noon, one o'clock, and um, we checked out uh, Hans's beach house and then decided to it's Like a little, Nor little Norwegian village. Yeah, I would show you, but you know, privacy and all. <laughs> um, but it, he has the, the cutest house, like it's, it's so fitting for the area and it feels like kind of some one of the things we talk about being in the northwest is like the northwest is a perfect combination of like west coast lifestyle and east coast vibes mm -hmm. and i feel like hans's place in long beach is kind of continues that like it's feels a little bit like cape cod in the vibe being that it's kind of that peninsula it's got a lot of similarities so 
We arrived at his place and then we ended up walking to get lunch. So we walked along the boardwalk, which was really nice. We walked about maybe like a 5K. Yeah, about a three mile walk. Um, Round very, trip. Very leisurely walk. We had lunch at a really cool place called the Pickled... Uh, we had lunch at a really cool place called the Pickled Fish. The Pickled Fish. And I um, had some of the best pizza I've ever had. I think like maybe top five of yeah. my favorite pizzas ever. And the service was amazing. So good that I, a week later, I still remember our server Alyssa's name. Oh wow, shout out to you Alyssa. Which I never remember. So the staff there was awesome. The, the ambiance, the restaurant's great. And we found out that it's um, this restaurant is part of the Adrift Hotel um, chain of businesses. And they own a lot of different um, lodging and restaurants in the, I guess, on the Long Beach Peninsula. Mm -hmm. So if you're wondering, Long Beach is actually, we always talk about on this channel being in Southwest Washington because we are the most South part of Washington and the most West because of the way the Columbia River curves. There's no, you can't go West anymore in Washington. But if you go North a bit, you can keep going West. And so they're technically in Southwest Washington also. Yes, actually we found out that this area that we, we visited by, by bike and it's in the same area, it is technically the most Western part of the, of the United States. Mm -hmm. um, just again, because of the land mass and the way the river flows and everything. Yeah, and so Long Beach is about two hours from Vancouver and it's a, I believe 25 mile peninsula, mm -hmm. just north of Astoria. So a lot of people know Astoria because of the Goonies and some other movies. So there is a four mile long bridge. It's one of the longest bridges that takes you from Astoria, Oregon onto the Washington side. And then um, they're only about like maybe 15, 20 minutes apart. But at that point, you're at the end of the Columbia River and you're entering into the Pacific Ocean right there. So this is a really cool area. This is called, they call it the bar and it's where the, the Columbia River, freshwater river, obviously, enters into, dumps into the Pacific Ocean. Also known as the graveyard of the Pacific. The graveyard of the Pacific <laughs> to give you a, an idea of how rough it is to, to navigate a boat. And we found out some really cool, items, one of which is that there's uh, literally, let's say you're, you're piloting a cargo ship, but when you get to this area, it is so rough, so challenging that literally they, they send a pilot out. Uh, They're a, called bar pilot. Bar pilot out to your boat by, sometimes by boat, sometimes by helicopter, to basically take over the captaining of your ship to get it through the bar so you can continue your journey up the Columbia River. So this is one of the, the most, I think, interesting areas on the Columbia River. Um, because of how it meets the ocean. And one of the best places to see it is actually from, there's two lighthouses that we rode by. So there's a Discovery Trail, which is a, it's part boardwalk, part um, nature trail, hike. It's uh, really cool. You can walk, you can bike. We saw people with dogs, we saw people. And it's called the Discovery Trail because it is where the, um, the famous uh, Lewis and Clark um, expedition basically terminated, ended. So uh, it, again, it's, it's just to, for me anyway, I'm just like a little kid anytime we're discovering something new and it's fascinating to think about the fact that back in, in you know, hundreds of years ago, this is the route that they took to discover. Actually, um, there's a saying um, on one of the lighthouses, which basically was a directive of this mission. So Thomas Jefferson, president of the time says, the objective of your mission the Pacific Ocean. That's so cool. How cool is that? <laughs> so this this uh, saying was actually at the Lewis and Clark Interpretive Center at Cape Disappointment. Uh, they had a phenomenal tour. Uh, tour guys working there to educate you and uh, an unbelievable look down into the ocean and into the bar. And apparently they call it Cape Disappointment because um, Captain John Mears, who approached the Cape in 1788, was looking for the mouth of the river and couldn't find it. And so he called it Cape Disappointment. So you have the Cape Disappointment Lighthouse and then you also have the North Head Lighthouse. Um, we didn't get a chance to do this because we ran out of time that day, but uh, you can actually go to the top of the lighthouse. I think it's like $3 for mm -hmm. adults, but you have to book an appointment for it and we just um, didn't have time to wait for the appointment. But if you ever want to go to the top of the lighthouse, this would be a great place to do that. Yeah, and while I'm thinking about it, we actually took our bicycles with us uh, with the plan of, of um, 
our friends Hans and Lori actually renting some bikes and then that's kind of touring the area by bike. So if you are going there, um, there's just plenty of bicycle rental places. Mm -hmm. um, but to me, one of, the, one of my favorite things about that trip was exploring by bike because we actually went two or three towns over mm -hmm. um, and, and just saw all kind of cool things that we wouldn't be able to have seen by foot yeah. or by car even. So we ended up biking about 25 miles the second day. 25 mile day. And uh, we ate lunch at Salt. Actually, both places we ate lunch. So at the Pickled Fish, you're on the second floor with great views of the ocean. And then at Salt, we sat, they have a lower level outdoor seating and they also have like a second level that we sat on. And that was a great view of the marina. So um, if you like- And that was in Ilwaco? Yeah. That was in Ilwaco, Washington. I've never heard of this town, but it's a fishing, <laughs> a a fishing village. Um, but it was a, a very pretty and picturesque town nonetheless. Yeah, so we had a great time um, between biking and walking and eating at different restaurants. So if you're into like beach towns and um, a little bit of touristy, like I think that Long Beach has a little bit of that tourist element to it. It is, what, I guess one of the things I was pleasantly surprised, like we started not to go because we're, uh, Hal and I aren't really into crowds, right? Big crowds and we, we normally go, during the week instead and of the weekend. Memorial and this Day is Memorial Day weekend. this is Memorial Day weekend. So we were going to say, well, you know what, let's maybe put it off. But we went uh, because, you know, we had promised and we've been putting it off for two years. Hello. Mm -hmm. So glad we did because I, I didn't. didn't, you know, and, and, and went through with it and made the journey because even for Memorial Day weekend, there weren't that many people. Now you think it could have been because the temperatures were rather low. Like the temperatures when we went there, the high was like 60 degrees. And it, and the forecast didn't have sun. It was like, oh, it's part, it's going to be partly cloudy or cloudy that weekend. So. I think we're that not, not, not one drop of rain, really. No, um, and one of the things I read about Long Beach is that most of the time their weather ranges like throughout the year between like 40 and 60 degrees. So super. Matter of fact, one of the things I saw and I'll upload uh, some some images from the tour we took at the uh, Interpreter Center was that they reminded me of the fact that this is indeed a rainforest and it's very temperate. Mm -hmm. So, um, but a few weeks before our hosts had told us that they had it like a 90 degree a set of 90 degree days. Yeah, he doesn't like the heat. Mm -hmm. um, this is a cool ocean breeze coming in. <laughs> <laughs> um, which it is really breezy. So I would also, I would say this is a great place for like couples getaways. There's tons of cute Airbnbs and really nice um, hotels that are like right on the water. And there's just so many things to see. Like there's, the, they, they produce cranberries there, ocean spray. So you can, oysters. you can go visit the, the, the production facilities. There's so many things to do up and down the peninsula. So whether it's like you're a couple wanting to go for the weekend, or if you have dogs, there's a lot of dog friendly activities to do. If you're into kites, they have a, the, like an international uh, kite festival every year. I can't wait to get a new kite. Um, oh, and the biggest thing that you didn't talk about that was one of your favorite experiences was driving on the beach. We drove on the beach. So we took <laughs> Goldie. Uh, those of you guys who, who know us well, uh, our Land Rover's name is Goldie and all four of us jumped in Goldie and we drove up the beach several miles. Uh, which is, is always a, an awesome experience. We, we passed several people who were just having picnics on the beach and just walking. And, and the fact that you can live that close to an area where you can drive on the beach or experience the beach, um, I mean, it's just to me, it just adds so many layers of, of life when you have these options. So I could totally see why, why they made this their um, vacation home. Mm -hmm. So couples, people with dogs, families, there's a, like a fun family centered arcade in town. And then you've got all the beach activities. You can do bonfires. Um, it's just, it's a, it's a gem of the Northwest that we had heard about, but never really like when we were hearing people talk about it, but we never really looked up like, well, what is there to do in Long Beach and like made plans to go. And the only reason we went was because we got invited yeah. and um, we were just, I think it definitely exceeded our expectations. Yeah, and we've been to other coast towns. Like we've been to um, the Oregon coast and we, like Seaside and Pacific City. And like you've done a ton of the beaches in Oregon with your motorcycle buddies. Mm -hmm. I've done, and it's funny because when I think of beach towns, at least in my experience, they're normally pretty, what I call cheesy, right? Very like over the top touristy. You don't want to spend a lot of time there. Like I think about Key West in Florida. It's cool, but it's cheesy, right? Or a lot just, been. <laughs> okay. So those of you guys who've been to Key West or other beach towns, traditional beach towns, you know, like, like you can get over it quickly. Whereas to me, Long Beach, Washington has 
uh, a lot of substance to it between it the historic aspect between the trail the nature um, i love the weather because it's not super hot it ain't humid like florida um, it's just a lot of like really nice interesting layers that i wasn't expecting yeah so uh, we just wanted to share our trip with you and let you know about a little gem of the northwest so if you're moving up here and you're like what are we going to do on weekends or where are we going to do our getaways where should we explore i would definitely add long beach washington to your list yeah and it's an absolute scenic drive also we took two different routes going Coming and coming, coming and going. <laughs> On the way back home to Vancouver, we actually went across the Edgar Meeker Bridge. What is that? The Bridge in Astoria. I just call it the Astoria Bridge. The Astoria Bridge, four miles long, uh, and then the, the bridge terminates into the, uh, with this really cool kind of uphill into the. It seems like you're going up into the mountains. If you guys have any questions or you need help and you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in the Pacific Northwest, make sure to shoot me a text at 360-818-4438. You can book a Zoom with me down below. Uh, we'd love to hear from you in the comments and you know, let us know if you've visited, if you plan on visiting, or maybe what your favorite beach town is. Should we check out some other coastal cities in Oregon and Washington? We'd love to know what you guys think. So we will catch you guys next time. Ciao. Ciao. We've been putting off for two years. Hello. Oh my God. What? Oh, I thought we weren't recording. Don't do that to me. No, we are. Yeah, we are. What's the 27 minutes for?